Hi, welcome to Nerd Sheet. This is Dustin Hedrick, and I'm going to take a few moments and talk to us about what's going on with Google Trends. All right, so if you've noticed the news, Google Trends has been noted as such a great resource for researchers who are checking to see uh, what's going on with chicken pox around the world and whether it's a seasonal disease or whatnot. <clears throat> Google Trends was used, it used to be thought as just something for marketers and that kind of stuff, but we're finding now it's great for politics, health, and all kinds of other stuff. And what's really great about Google Trends is that we're really starting to see it take off in other uses than just marketing and research. So if you look at Google Trends, which is at google.com forward slash trends, we'll put the link in this description so that you can get there and find it for yourself. You can go here and find what's going on. There's these topics that are trending right now, such as election 2016 is, is trending right now as a topic, Democrat Party. NBA Finals is trending. Champions League Finals. These are all trending right now. If you search down, I mean, if you scroll down on this, you can find even more stuff. So let's go on down and look. Down here we've got all of these topics that are trending right now. Why is this important? Well, if you're a blogger out there and you're really wanting to be a part of what's going on and you want stuff that's going to be selling at the moment or you want to be in the know in news, you need to be out here researching. If you're a news reporter, you want to see what's going on and you want to be a part of the trend. Now, let's go a little bit further. You can dig down to these trends and actually explore. You can compare things together. This is the comparative area. So if we want to compare things, for instance, Rice and Howard Universities, we can put those terms in here. We can add both terms, Rice and Howard University, and then we can see what's related and how they compare. This Google compare is really cool. Let's say you're a marketer. You've got a business you want to compare. Or you want to compare two schools, or you want to compare sports teams, you want to compare anything. You can see there's all types of comparatives that you can do based on this. So we just report, we just compared those two. That's Google Compare. So much you can do with it. We'll have to dig into it another day. Also, there's trends, hot trends. And I'll put the link in for this. You can go directly to it. But the hottest trends today that are going on, MySpace, Marilyn Monroe, Michael Jace, Demagogue, Jan Crouch, all of this stuff is going on. Of course, way down here, there's Trump and Kylie and all kinds of other stuff that's going on right now. These are the trending topics right at this moment. You can refresh and see what's going on all over. That's hot trends. Inside of here, there's the top charts. Actors, animals, athletes that are, that are really charging up charts. Authors, baseball players, baseball teams. Books, basketball teams and players, car companies, cars, cities, all of the, these things are trending. Also, very, very, very cool. So you can just scroll through here and see what the hot trends are. Another thing that's really cool, Google Correlate. You can correlate things, comparing U.S. states, comparing weekly times, comparing monthly time series. You can, you can search, like, what's most, most popular in winter. You can search... And shift the months. You can shift the differences. Inside of Compare U.S. States, you can compare the state's latitudes and rainfall. You can compare politics. Right now, that's a really hot thing with politicians looking to see how to compare stuff. If you're on one of those teams, you need to be comparing the states and their views. You can do that right here inside of Google Correlate. Really cool stuff. The last one that's my favorite is Google Hot Trends Visualize. If you mouse over, you can see you can download a screensaver you can visualize searches that are going on right now. These are actually happening right now. If you download the screensaver, you can watch them go on on your desktop, or you can go to this page and watch them. From right here, you can change the region that you're watching. Look at this. All regions is what we selected. You can select all the, you can drill down the United States and visualize what's going on. Let's visualize the U.S. for a minute and see. Here it comes. And here comes the hot search data. It takes a second for it to take off. And you can visualize those terms. So you can see it's very fun to check out Google Trends. You can use it for marketing, research, healthcare, politics, and so much more. Just looking at Google Correlate, looking at the hot trends that are going on through the top charts, the categories that are, and the topics that are going on, as well as what's trending or comparing two things together. 
Google Trends is a very, very cool thing to check out. You've got to check it out. Don't just use it for marketing. Use it for anything. Get in here and have fun. Check out Google Trends. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up, to leave us a comment, and also subscribe to our channel here at NerdChic. And guys, seriously, we'll dig into Google Trends a little later and get down into some of the more detailed, fine details of what you can do with this. But this is our overall overview of Google Trends. And uh, we just want you to get out there and have some nerdy fun with Google Trends. Take care.